Hi, I'm Paul Hargreaves. I'm the founder and managing director of Cotswold Fair. Cotswold Fair started when I was doing charity work in South East London. Um, ran out of money, which uh, as it wasn't very well paid. So I bought a few uh, products, food products from the Cotswolds and started selling them to local delis in South East London. Fortunately for me, I met a guy who lived in Reading um, in 1999 and we decided together to, to start a, a proper business. So we got our first very, very small warehouse, um, which was probably the length of um, a triple garage, shall we say. Um, and we, we you know, paid a, started a lease there and, and, and set up there. Again, we're very, very small. We had probably only 10 to 12 suppliers in those days. Um, we had two staff and we had one van driver and the business started to grow. Um, we're now in our fourth premises. We went um, up towards Henley, we had a place called Bryant's Farm um, and then we moved about three miles from there to uh, another farm called Manor Farm and then in 2011 we moved here where we are, we are now. Back in Reading, actually we're only probably about 300 metres from where we started so it's quite nice to be to be back in Reading. Um, so yes over the over the years we've we've grown obviously grown the staff we're now 40 and uh, we've also grown the premises and we have a 20,000 square foot warehouse here with, with office space and um, we're set to be here for the next I think we've got another four years to, to run on the lease. Cotswold Fair is run um, by me, but actually it's really run by a management team who um, are in charge of the different departments of the company. Uh, so we've got Gary who is uh, the warehouse manager, he manages all the, the drivers and the warehouse staff. We have Nikki who's in charge of the, the financial side of the business. Louise is our buyer. Robin is um, the supplier manager, we call him. He manages our, our partnership relationships with suppliers and um, is in charge of all the, the goods in, uh, buying the stock. And David uh, looks after the customer service and logistics side of the business. Um, in terms of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, apart from managing the, the management team, I also manage the, the sales team, uh, of which there are seven. And the other thing I'm primarily engaged in is, is marketing side of the business. To find out what the best thing about working for Cotswold Fair is, you probably need to talk to my my staff. Um, <laughs> I'm only, only the boss, so they, they'll get the real answers. But we, I mean, I think people find it exciting to be part of a, a growing business. Customers have, have always been the centre of what we do at Cotswold Fair. Clearly we wouldn't have a business without them. And we actually have quite a few customers that are that were customers right at the start of the business and they're still with us today. In fact, not only with us today, but they some of them are five, even ten times bigger than they were 13 years ago when we started the business. We generally, we're, we're lucky. We have lots and lots of, of happy customers. We get lots of positive feedback. Um, we. You know, some of the customers are, are friends as well as customers uh, and generally people are nice to deal with. They're, they're passionate about food, which we are as well. Um, and it makes it a good environment to, to work in. The sales team are out there having a good time, chatting with customers and, and uh, learning and developing their skills at the same time. We, you know, we like to think we learn from our customers and, and they learn from us. We see across the sector and hopefully we're in a position to, to pass on a few tips to our customers as well. We see what works in one place and we can tell them, yeah, maybe you should try that. Now, I, the roots of this business are from the, the charitable sector and I've always strongly believed that businesses aren't just about making money. Clearly, you've got to make money or you wouldn't survive. But they're also about putting something back and uh, we have an orphanage in, in Kenya. We support um, a child for each member of staff here, so that's about 40 kids at the moment. And last year we organised a summer ball for the speciality food sector, we had lots of suppliers, lots of customers there, and 
to over 200 uh, and that became an event a, a event for gathering people together in the sector one thing I've noticed over the last um, few years um, what 13 years I've been doing this now is that independent retailers sometimes are just that little too independent and they don't talk to each other now we've organized several events over the last few years we have something called Cotswold Fair Connect which is a way of gathering uh, retailers together in, in regions um, giving them some input most importantly getting them to talk to each other the idea of this sprang up when we had a, a 10th birthday party uh, three years ago and we had a uh, an area at Henley Regatta which was all paid for by us for our top customers and at the end of the day we had people saying can we can you do this again but actually we'll pay to come next time because we've enjoyed so much talking to other farm shops and delis and learning from them and finding out what they're doing that's working and, and just generally picking up ideas so we took that and we now have regular events where uh, independent retailers are getting together and talking to each other um, which is very very valuable and not enough of it goes on so that was a, that was a byproduct of the ball Obviously, the primary aim was to raise money for the orphanage which we did uh, 20,000 pounds but also it was one of those events where people were networking talking to each other and we will definitely be planning to, to do events like that uh, in the future